Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have a love reading for you guys. Hope you guys are all well. If you would like a free five minute psychic reading, you may get one of those. The link is below. It's with Mystic Sense. Click on it and all the information is there. Yes, it is. If you would like a reading with me, I have a promotional price for a limited time and just see the about tab here on my YouTube page and get that started. Yeah. So let's get into it. And Sagittarius, we start with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, La Ruota. This is like, in Spanish, it's Rueda. Yeah. I used to have a girlfriend, a friend named uh, Rueda. Right? Her last name was Wheel. Okay. And so that's what this is. And uh, this talks about, like, taking a chance for fate and destiny, basically. And, uh, mm -hmm. and the way they have, like... Uh, the native here, because they have this native in front, it's like uh, you can walk up and spin this wheel and somebody's doing that, like they're taking a chance. It's like when you go to the festival uh, when you were a kid, right? And uh, hey, I want to, you know, play this game or whatever. And you spin, the, they, they always have the, the wheel of fortune there and you get a prize usually, but that's what this person's doing. The prize is you, I believe. The death card is here. And we have imprisonment. And so this person feels very, uh, very stuck without you. I feel like they are most likely leaving something to be with you because of the death card. Yeah, it's a transformation as well. But, uh, you know, and that can be seen as, you know, a death, of course. It's really what that is, death and, and rebirth, uh, a profound change. And then the elephant is here. This talks about misunderstanding fate, basically. Yeah, and uh, let's have a look at that uh, briefly here with the elephant. And this is, the elephant is arguably the most auspicious figure in the deck. Okay, so he's the most favorable. And this is like Ganesh, the elephant represents immense wisdom. Ganesh is the, uh, is like the elephant god, I believe. And, you know, don't beat me up if I got it wrong, all right, you guys? Because, yeah, it's, I'm not Indian and I'm not, you know... You don't have to be to know, but, you know, um, I'm still learning about that, right? It is said that the great elephant is the destroyer of obstacles. So if this card appears when you feel stuck, rest assured the path will soon become clear. Yeah, and then it talks about, mm hmm it's interesting here. It says to add to the mystery, the elephant is also known to create obstacles in order to steer us in the right direction. That's interesting because somebody could be creating a, an ending. Your person or you, Sagittarius, it's either one. Yeah, it's not a little fairy here or, you know, your neighbor. No, it's not. <laughs> and so this person is creating, putting, uh, making problems basically. And what that obstacle is, it's next to the death card is an ending. So your person's ending something to be with you. They're clearing the way. And why here is the Holy Grail. Because their search for eternal love is over when they met you. They said, that's it. It's Sagittarius. Now, I feel like they didn't get this at first because the elephant misunderstands fate. And me and my sister were having a discussion on this last night. Uh, and I basically knew it was about that. And um, I mean, you know, she took it as she, she understood that pretty much, right? Um, she, you know, she's smart. I'm just saying that uh, we were talking about that, but I wasn't, I was more or less implying it. Uh, and you know, it, a lot of people misunderstand fate, right? So, you know, maybe when they're young, especially, and it can be, uh, very troubling and it can be problematic, right? Cause you could be, uh, losing or, you know, walking right by what is fate and destiny to you, right? You could just right. And so you miss out, right? Yeah. And the renew card is here. So, we have the renew card right here. And this is, you know, the egg here is being peeled. Uh, it's a snake's egg. I didn't know snakes, you know, uh, laid eggs, but Hey, you know, I went to the public school. So, you know, there, right. <laughs> You're like, uh, yeah. And so, you know, uh, yeah, you can, I, uh, the most that I learned, I learned more going to the JC, right. Yeah. Going to college and, you know, Yes, I did. Right. Mm -hmm. And then here, you know, here are the snakes around this egg. So this is also a transformation. Yeah, we have that here and, uh, it's all for love. I feel like it is. Wow. I feel like somebody's coming, 
Uh, they are Sagittarius. Let's get into it. And I've already shuffled these cards. Here's a nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, hey, maybe somebody, your person is becoming single because it looks like somebody's going to move heaven and earth to come be with you, Sagittarius. It does, right? Like, because we, we talked here about the elephant, right? Who will clear things from his way, even make obstacles in order to clear the way. Like, hey, I need to make this problem over here, and, you know, and uh, that problem will alleviate or open up my path. And that's what's going on. This person's ending a situation. Your first card is the Ace of Cups, Sagittarius, right? Here, yes, it is. And uh, this is in the past. But I feel like this is really what's on your mind because I have it here kind of collectively. And let's see here. And okay, what's unknown to you, if you're going to have a relationship with them, the six of pentacles, because it's a give and take, if there's going to be harmony or balance, or you guys are going to, you know, balance the scales between you guys, maybe you guys are weighing gold, that would be good, right? Because uh, I feel like you're going to need it here. Any Anything that is uh, besides, you know, the mainstream type of money, you're going to need it. We're all going to need it. Yeah, we are. So let's get back to this because uh, that's a long conversation. The queen of wands, it's in your challenge. So this is challenging you, right? This situation. And you have uh, the strength cards, what's on your mind with the moon and the, uh, and the ace of cups. So this is real clear here that this is either you like confused about your own courage. I don't feel like it is. I feel like you are confused here or you have some fear or some doubts possibly, right? It doesn't have to be a, a full on confusion, but you know, uh, there's different levels of confusion, right? Some people go their whole life, uh, confused, uh, what a travesty that is, right? But you know, here, I feel like you're a little bit confused here or doubting most likely, maybe if you're going to have a new beginning in love, but, but if they're going to have the courage, most likely, right? Here's the strength card. Unless your person is Leo, maybe with the, with the, uh, you know, with the queen of wands and the challenge and the bottom of the deck for them is the six of wands. So this is a victory. And in this deck, he's handing her the wreath here, honey, we're going to win together. Yeah. This is, you know, I won. So you win that type of thing, right? This is uh, and these other people are looking and they're kind of, this one person kind of has a look on their face, real nosy. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody's kind of watching this unfold. It's possible here because it's hard to see, but you know, uh, this person here in the corner, yeah, this person right here is like kind of, you know, kind of an attitude there. Uh, could be jealousy. It could be bottom of the deck is a world card. And, uh, you know, here she is and I'll put my, you know, my fat finger here, uh, to cover her up. Right. It's almost looks like I'm giving you the bird Sagittarius, but I'm not. And, uh, yeah. And so this is the bottom of the deck and with it is the page of wands here. And he's walking away from a woman right here. This is your person's, these are your person's cards at the bottom of the deck. And she's crying out to him. Come back here. You blankety blank, you blippity blip. Right. Yeah. I know you're going to see Sagittarius, right? <laughs> That's how it looks here. Right? And queen of uh, swords is, you know, here she is twirling the, the butterfly. Your person's wondering if they can have a rebirth with you. Here's judgment as well. And I shuffled these. Yeah, I did. And let's see what we got here. Here's judgment, right? We can't show you the whole card because uh, there's, you know, beautiful humans here. Yeah. And their birthday suits. King of pentacles is here. So let's see what else we have because, uh, Somebody wants a rebirth with you. They do. And they're going to move obstacles out of the way. And I believe with the elephant next to the death card that they're ending something else that is, was standing in the way of this. And let's see what they have. The six of, uh, wands. Mm -hmm. Interesting here. That was at the bottom of the deck. I just moved these cards around a little bit. Five of swords reversed, four of wands reversed, six of cups. Okay, here's your person. And uh, this is in there, what they're doing here, or, you know, what they're wanting to do, desire, a hope, I want this. And he's cutting the other man. The other man's falling to his death or falling to, falling to the ground, right, on his back. And here's the man aggressively uh, pursuing him with the knife. 
it's not a knife. It's a, you know, it's a sword, right? Yeah, we don't really have knives in here. No, we don't. <laughs> uh, but those are swords, right? And so we also have Sagittarius. Uh, mm -hmm. We have here uh, in your fears, here's or doubts, right? Or anything negative or uh, wondering, confusion or whatever, but it looks like it's a fear or a doubt here is the lovers. So this is about a choice. A choice is being made here, but you're fearing it's going to happen because you're showing up as the nine of wands here, the wounded warrior, or you believe they are, right? And, you know, the wounded warrior is uh, insecure, but he, he keeps going forward. He keeps moving on. He says, I've been, you know, this happened to me and, uh, or maybe, you know, maybe I did it myself or whatever, right? Because things don't really happen to us so much. No, we create those experiences ourselves. For the most part. Now, if you walk outside and, you know, there's a bee that stings you, I don't really think you, you know, you did that, Sagittarius, right? No, but, excuse me. So, yeah, and your person what's on their mind, their challenge is the six of cups. This is to return to you. So when we see it as a challenge, they have to move something. They're like removing an obstacle here. And that is, you know, it's, that's, uh, could be difficult. Uh, and, or they feel like you're not going to want them back. Right. I mean, it's, it depends here, but it does definitely look like they are moving something out of the way to be with you. I feel like this here, this, uh, wheel of fortune here, right. Uh, in the little gnome deck, I feel like uh, that is your person spinning the wheel, taking a chance on destiny. And why, you know, kind of why it's all happening for them is they feel stuck here, the imprisonment card. And that's why they're creating this death here, right? And uh, that death is about death. It's about an ending, but it's about a transformation. And here's the elephant to prove it. I'm moving things out of my way. I misunderstood fate in the past, but I don't misunderstand it anymore. No. I understand it, right? And that's kind of the conversation me and my sister were having about just about, you know, when you get older, you uh, you understand things better. And if you don't, it's a real tragedy, not even a travesty. Yeah. So your person, what's on their mind? Four of wands reversed, five of swords reversed, and the six of wands. So this person wants a victory with you. Here he is handing the wreath to her. Like here, honey, we're a team. So I won, so you won, right? It's like if you're married to somebody and, you know, they're good to you and I won the lottery, wow, we got all this money, babe, right? So that's what's going on here. And, uh, but this five of swords reversed, you know, here, uh, in the past, they felt they had a victory with you. I felt what, like what it is, this person finally understood how important you were in the past, Right? But in the beginning, they were misunderstanding it. So they could have mis uh, chose the wrong person, right? They could have. And so here we have the four of wands reverse. This could be a breakup in their life because they're not thinking about that with you. They're thinking about victory and eternal love and renew, re renewal. Yes, they are Sagittarius, right? Yeah. And the six of cups is in their challenge. They're returning to their father here. They want to return to you. The five of swords is reversed. Could be, it could be that, you know, this could simply be in a very general sense. I'm ending my own relationship. Four of wands, five of swords. I, I have to deal with the loss here in order to have this victory with Sagittarius. And these, uh, these oracles are, you know, pretty much reiterating that. And here, this is what they are doing. Knight of swords in their hopes and desires or you know, yeah, this could be what they are doing currently, uh, but this is what they want in order to make this happen, right? Or what they're doing, fulfilling this. He's cutting the other man out. And in their fear, here's a seven of cups or their doubt or their negative energy here. And what this means here is I hope I made the right choice. Here's the man and, you know, he already chose here and he's, he's looking at the jewels, but the snake is around his waist. <laughs> So, you know, it doesn't matter about these jewels, does it? No, it doesn't, right? So your person's hoping that 
this choice they made to come forward and I believe end something, whatever that is. Maybe they have to move from, from, uh, from Spain to live here and they're moving, leaving behind uh, abundance, financial abundance or something, right? Uh, yeah, I don't believe they're leaving behind major uh, liberty or rights. No, I don't uh, because of, because of uh, my sister-in-law lives there. Yeah. So, yeah, my ex-sister-in-law lives in Spain. So, yeah. And so uh, I'm just saying uh, your person here could be like, like uh, sacrificing something, right? Because there's a sacrifice here. And what's unknown to them, Sagittarius, is the seven of pentacles. Now, this unknown, he's walking away with a pentacle. This could be a few things. So usually that's uh, the seven of pentacles speaks of, I don't know what's going to happen, but these sevens are, you know, definitely about evaluating. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, probably if I walk away, because in this one, he walks away with a pentacle. Your person could be uh, walking away from a situation and just saying, here, keep the house. It's possible, right? Uh, but, you know, just walking away with one pentacle and there's six left. So, you know, maybe they're doing that. Maybe they feel it's worth it because they put obstacles here in order to come be with you, right? Poor English, they put obstacles here, right? But hey, we're just going to leave it there. <laughs> they've created, they've made their own. Yeah, let's see what else we have. And five of pentacles reversed. They don't know if you're going to let them back in right here. They could be really sacrificing something here and they don't know if you're letting them in here. This is in the unknown, right? We're going to end this reading, Sagittarius, and we're going to go to their extended. And their first card is touch. And this card, Sagittarius, the hand is here with the third eye on it, right? And so this card, and you know, the hand is coming like from the ground, like for growth, basically. This person is going to reach out to you. That's what this card is. Reach out and touch someone, just like Aretha Franklin used to sing. Yes, she did with her kind of, uh, what was it? A little bit of uh, gospel. It's beautiful, right? But here, you know, this is touch and this is contact and they're going to reach out to you. This talks about when you reach out to somebody, you're careful not to be arrogant or you're careful not to be pushy uh, because th maybe they, maybe you felt like they were in the past. There's some type of major, like they recognize something in the past and this is when you guys were apart. It does look like that and crossing them here and supporting them, challenging them, however, is the pleasure card. So here's the deer. <clears throat> and he's here and he knows that when he walks through the portal here, uh, behind that is like this glorious place. So, but here are the stairs that have to be ascended first by your person. So something has to be done here, right? In order to walk through the portal of pleasure, the door of pleasure, and they're going to reach out to you. And this is challenging them here. They don't know if you're going to let them into this portal basically. <laughs> right? We're going to see all about them. Yeah, we are. And uh, we're going to go behind the scenes on them. They're all super affordable Sagittarius. I have the link below in the description box. And uh, we're also going to have a tarot spread on them. We are. And uh, let's see how they are feeling about you, Sagittarius. Let's see how they are feeling about you. How do they feel? How do they feel, please? Eight of Wands. They want change and growth, you see? So we're going to end this. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Yeah. And uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. The link is below in the description box. They're all super affordable. I might have said that. Yeah. Thank you so much.